David, 27 years is a heck of a time. Uh, you seem to be here all the time, every service. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, I mean, I, we've closed for a couple of Sundays to do Saturday the Kitchen. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I'm, I'm here uh, from 8 o'clock every morning that we're open. So, not missed a service. So, it really is your life? It is. I just love it. I, you know, I still come down in the morning and I'm still... Um, excited by what's what's going to be done during the day um, and new produce coming in and new seasons arriving on the doorstep because I've got a fantastic larder in the Cotswolds. Um, so, you know, there's always something to pick or to, to uh, forage uh, that we use on the menu. Well, a lot of people talk about this, but of course you were one of the first to start this off. You were very much in the... Uh in the beginning of yeah the we, it probably goes back 20 years when it first started creeping onto our menu mm -hmm. um, and it was something that my aunt sort of showed me when I was uh, seven eight years old I used to go to Suffolk with her and she used to take me over to Wandsworth Common as well and, and forage for things there you have very loyal customers here who've been with you since since you opened since day one yes yeah. we, we still get some people that uh, have, were on our first night which was it was a shocking night our first night <laughs> it's, it's that's a nice thing and they've seen you develop over the years which sure. is a a great a great plus for us that they haven't sort of dropped off thinking oh no i don't like what he's doing they've seen us grow um in size, um, with the restaurant, with acquiring next door and, and doubling the space. They've seen, they've seen my style go from being very, very hearty terroir to um, still masculine food, but with more finesse now. Um, and the common thread has always been the true flavors going throughout, uh, throughout the food, um, which, you know, we, we make things try and taste more of what they are than, than they are. Have you seen a change over the years in, in David's cooking? Yes, I think so. I think when we first opened, I suppose he was a little bit um, not necessarily complicated, perhaps not the right word, but would use more ingredients that were perhaps necessary. And then over the years, he's very much developed his own style using the ingredients he wants to use. And I think because of that, he's much happier cooking that rather than thinking that he's cooking food that he thinks people wants to eat so it's sure. all coming from the heart sure. um, and I, I think it's probably a case of less is more now on the plate. One of the dishes on the menu it's uh, seared scallops, uh -huh. um, seared lettuce uh, with uh, a lettuce ash, uh, pea puree and peanuts. So we've got some beautiful um, Orkney scallops um, which is just going to be seared very very quickly. So what's the optimum time for the scallops? Um, about a minute. Uh -huh. So we started off in oil and a hot pan and then we just put a little bit of butter in so it um, helps with the flavour. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, so we'll leave those in the pan just finishing off while we come over and finish the dish off. I mean, it's a, it's a play on, on textures um, with the crunchiness of the lettuce and the softness of the peas. So we start off with a nice little pea puree. Got some lettuce ash. Um, the lettuce is made, it's made with um, the outer leaves of the lettuce, um, which is cooked very slowly in the oven. So it goes like a dark golden brown and then just blitzed up. So peas, ground up peanuts here, which adds a wonderful sort of inami taste of the dish. Whole roasted peanuts. And because we've got a lot of sweetness there with the scallops, mm -hmm. we add a little bit of wood sorrel right, yeah. to give a, a touch of acidity. Uh -huh. um, and finally, some more of the, the lettuce ash with a little bit of oil. And just to finish, a little bit of malden salt. Always malden. Always. So much better. <laughs> the final touch got some cured jowl, which we salt for a week, um, and then dry out and hang for another week or so. And it just gives a wonderful um, seasoning to the dish. That looks terrific. Yeah, Helen, busy lunchtime coming up. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the menu. Okay, we offer two uh, menus at lunchtime. The set menu, which has a choice of three starters, three main courses, <laughs> cheese, two dessert. Um, more of a market menu changes monthly. Then the main menu, which is available 
lunch and dinner. Slightly more choice and I suppose slightly more luxurious ingredients, but exactly the same style cooking, intense flavours that David uses. So it's cooking style, no difference. It's just a remarkable price. Uh, it is a very good price, actually. <laughs> Tell me about the, um, the dining room itself. How many covers do you have here? 38. 38. Yeah, it's not often we do a maximum of 38 because we've usually got twos on a four or sure. six on two fours, something like that. So, but yeah. Well, it would be fair tables. to describe it as, 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 a, as a simple dining room. Yeah. Um, how about the art? Is that your choices? or? It's our choices, yes. Okay. Bought over the years, yes. We sort of, it's quite an eclectic collection. Sure. Well, <laughs> so if we see like. some, exactly, yeah. You know, we're looking at it every day, so we want to have it, so you don't want to have something on the wall that we don't like looking at. So Absolutely. if we see something we like, then we'll buy it. Tell me about the wine list. It's, like it's very, very predominantly French, the list, and yeah. it's just our, our preference for, for that. Um, I like to have. I've got quite a good selection of half wines, which I'm quite proud of. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got quite a few red and white halves, which over the years have become more popular. Well, it's good to see you in the uh, top ten in the Good Food Guide. Yeah, wonderful. For uh, 2015. Yes. But you, you won Chef of the Year last year, didn't you? Yeah, we were the Chef of the Year. This is Chef of the Year last year, which was uh, a great uh, award and a great made us feel very proud. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean... Uh, We've got a wonderful team here, and really, I'm lucky enough to be part of the team, heading the team. So, any achievements that we get reflect whole, wholeheartedly on them as well as as well as me. So it's it's great for them that we're number nine, um, and again, a wonderful achievement for the restaurant.